Hey, 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 Leo. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Tuesday, April 14th to the 15th intuitive love tarot read. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave, Leo. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, Leo, the information is in the description box below. Also, don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you guys. I want to hear from you and interact with you. Okay, Leo, I'm going to get a couple of cards here and then get a channeled message from the angels here for you. What's going on with Leo for the next day? Okay, one more card. Oh, okay. The bottom of the deck, Leo, we have the Three of Wands. Oh, sorry about this. I am in the process of moving, so this is just going to deal with this for two days, right? But it'll all be good. All right, Four of Wands here, Leo. We have the Star card. We have the Three of Cups. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, let me get this message, Leo. Let others support you, Leo. Sometimes you cannot do everything by yourself. You need support. So let them lend a helping hand. And feel good about doing this. Feel confident when doing so. Don't feel guilty. Yeah, they're reminding you that this is part of your strength, is emotional vulnerability. You rule the heart, Leo. Okay, so this is connected to emotional vulnerability with the allowance of people within your life to help you okay all right leo somebody could be at a dis distance with the three of wands you could be waiting for something somebody there is a wish um could be a wish for a commitment because we do have the 11 11 card here the four of wands this talks about marriage commitment healing or you could be you could be healing from a previous commitment for some of you but see you've got the reunion card here with the three of cups so there could be hope of for a reunion some of you may be thinking about this you could actually be working on manifesting it but let's see because you've got the eight of pentacles across from the three of cups Eight of Swords. You're all wrapped up in your mind. Okay, you go back and forth with this. I have a lot of hope for manifesting this. But you leave yourself, you leave your mind in a prison. Why are you in the Eight of Swords energy here? Why? Why are you in this energy? Why is Leo in this energy? Okay, because you're you're still grieving this person or this relationship, whatever it was you're you're grieving. But I do feel it's like a ping pong ball. You're going back and forth. It's like, no, I'm healing, and then all of a sudden, bam, mind fuckery, depression, grieving. Nope, nope. I have hope. I'm confident we have a chance again. And then all of a sudden, fuck, I'm back in my mind again. So tell me about this Three of Cups, please, for Leo. 
five of wands okay this could have been a third party situation um competition with the five of wands here that's what five of wands is competition chaos okay fighting so it could have been the reason why this ended possibly tell me about the four of cups yeah, I mean, four of wands, judgment, yeah, reunion. But I feel like you are judging it. You're judging if th this other individual had a third party, then I feel like you are judging the situation. You're going over this and judging it. And this is why you're going back and forth. This is why. Tell me about the eight of pentacles here. Okay, this is concentration on work knowing what you want from work okay just taking on a lot of responsibility to get your mind off of this really this is the emperor this is you you're knowing what you want you're going after it and you're just concentrating on working towards it so how does this other person feel about reuniting with you yeah um this is the five of swords i feel that there's still anger jealousy expect the unexpected you've got three fives yeah they would be unsure they would be unsure and they would hold back with the four of pentacles they would be holding back their feelings holding back just holding back altogether What's the advice for Leo reuniting with this individual? Now, this individual for whoever this is for is somebody that you had a long-term relationship with, somebody that you lived with, somebody that you were married to, somebody that you had a long-term commitment with, not somebody that you just, you know, dated for three months. Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling that they want you to start a new cycle. They want you to heal from this, yes. But I'm not feeling that this would be, um, I don't feel like this is on your path. But let's see. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune here. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Why is it here? Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Knight of Cups. I feel like something's coming up for you where either you'll be receiving an offer or giving an offer of love. And I feel like you just have to give it a little more time. So rather than focus on being in this mind fuckery, Leo, and figuring out if you want to reunite, if you want to step towards this person, try focusing on just healing, okay, and work knowing where you want to go listen for the epiphanies because you do have archangel michael here this is also healing heal first then if you would like to go forward in this reunion go right ahead but i do feel that if you heal and wait a little bit longer you're going to see something that's hidden from you right now which is this knight of cups so what is your advice regarding healing for leo yeah take this opportunity this is the ace of pentacles to heal it is a new opportunity it's a new opportunity a new beginning okay um and once you heal this will be a whole new beginning for you two of cups soulmate twin flame energy i feel like this is what's coming and they're confirming this is what's coming you may know it you may not know it I don't know. Okay. I have another. Oh, geez. I get a lot of cards here. Nine of Pentacles. The Moon card. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> the Hermit card. The Magician. Sorry, it's so dark. The Page of Wands. Wow. Okay, let me get a handle on this first. Now, this is all advice. So the hermit, definitely, you need to go within. Because I feel that when you go within and you really seek, okay, the depth of who you really are. And you shine a light on the shadow sides, okay, in an effort to transform, transmute this energy. You're going to come out 
knowing how to manifest this relationship, whichever one it will be. But it is a soulmate twin flame energy and you need to go towards this with passion, with confidence, with a knowing. And spirit also wants you to feel abundant within the self, independent, autonomous. But I feel like you're doing that with this focus on work, with this eight of pentacles, the emperor, right? This focus on work. Bottom of the deck, you have the seven of cups. Try not to be confused, Leo. Um, I do think this hermit energy will help you with that but this is also saying that you have options so know that this person from the past this person this uh three of cups individual is not your only option not in the very least okay i hope this resonated with you guys uh, uh please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading with me that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The information is in the description box below. You have yourself a wonderful day, Leo, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.